Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Ant on Music. I'm your host, Ant. Um, before we get into it, uh, this is going to be a really short episode as opposed to last week where I uh, went into my Queensryche collection. Uh, not going to do that to you again this week. Going to keep it very, very, very short this week. Before we get into it, uh, just want to remind everybody, please drop a comment, click like, share the video, and most importantly, if you haven't yet, please, 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 please subscribe. Uh, you know, ants live in a colony, want to make this colony of ants grow. So click that subscribe button below and uh, let's grow this thing. Uh, so this week, we're going to do a true unboxing video. A lot of times I open the mail, put it aside, and then at the end of the week, um, you know, I roll it out and we, we talk about it. So this week, a little something different. This just got dropped off in the mail, all right? And I know what it is, okay? So I went and back, changed out the shirt that I was working in out in my, uh, out in my yard, uh, you know, pulling up some weeds. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spring day here in New York in the Hudson Valley uh, where I'm located. And if you look close, <clears throat> you can see it says KISS. That's why I went out and put on my KISS, one of my many KISS tour shirts. So what is this? Well, let's open it up and take a look. Let's get this cut nice and even. And I know what it is because I ordered it. Not stupid. Uh, well, not stupid for that. Stupid for other reasons. And with this, oh, not only do we have one thing in here, we have two. So let's take a look at the first thing here. All right. So what we have here, another addition to my ever-expanding t-shirt collection. And with this one, this is the back. So it has the track listings of the original KISS debut album right there. And this is a cool long sleeve t-shirt. Don't have a ton of long sleeves in my collection. Getting a little bit past the time when you can wear them. Maybe I can wear it at night hanging out by the fire pit. Uh, and so in the box is KISS debut album tracks listed on back with the original cover on front. Kind of wish this was uh, in black, but they only had it in white and it came as part of a bundle. <clears throat> and what does that bundle contain? Well, the KISS album, the original one. Believe it or not, it is the 50th anniversary of the KISS debut album. How about that? Uh, and it's uh, a gold nugget vinyl and it has a foil jacket. So we're gonna open this up. And there's only 2,500 of these suckers worldwide. So uh, needless to say, I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get an original. When this came out, I was a wee lad of five turning six years old. Uh, but like many guys from New York, uh, Kiss are icons for us. And for people that are in the, um, you know, into hard rock and heavy metal, uh, they cite this as one of the, you know, the biggest bands uh, in that genre. And, um, you know, they came out of New York City, uh, a couple of kids from Queens with Paul and Gene and uh, Peter came from Brooklyn. And of course, the Bronx boy, my boy, Ace Freely, right? Uh, if you want to hear me talk about Ace uh, Travel Back, there's a whole episode on Ace Freely where I tell you about the time where I interviewed him. Uh, if you want to dig deeper into the Kiss stuff, I've done uh, stuff on Eric Carr, who I had the pleasure of interviewing him. You notice I say pleasure of interviewing him, and I don't make that same accord when I speak of Mr. Fraley. Uh, but anyhow, let's, uh, let's open this up. Let's take a look, see what we got here. We'll talk a little bit about this album in the KISS catalog. So like you said, this is the first one, you know, and this gold, you know, gold album for the uh, gold anniversary. Try not to damage this, be as precise as I can and as gentle as I can with this because we want to keep this in as good as condition as possible. Always important, right? Don't want anything new to get shot right off the bat, right? You want to try and keep it new. And uh, this, you know, the Kiss album was originally released on Casablanca Records and Tapes, re-released through Mercury. And look, they have the Casablanca label in gold, front and back. Uh, you know, rice paper lined, 
jacket, and a very cool looking gold album right there. So you have that. And we have something else. We have an insert in here. We're going to dig that out as well. Looks like it's a small poster. And, uh, you know, take a look at that as well. Um, anything else in here? Nope, just basic black in there. So nothing nothing exciting to see there. I've noticed as of late there's been some artists that have been putting, um, you know, artwork inside. I don't know why. It makes you just ruin the jacket trying to get to it. Uh, but this is uh, does have the uh, foil jacket on it, which you can see there. It's, you know, kind of neat. Raises it up a little bit. Gives it a bit of shine. Uh, and we have in here, <clears throat> this is the picture that's on the back of the shirt. So this is, uh, looks like a promo poster, the original promo poster, new on Casablanca Records and Tapes. Uh, there you see Gene, Paul, Peter, and Ace going top to bottom. Uh, and they brought upon us the, uh, you know, our first real rock and roll superheroes. You know, when you were a kid growing up in, in New York City in the 70s and 80s, like I was, you know, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, uh, you know, Kiss were, Kiss were godlike. You know, they were godhead when they, they came out. And um, it's hard to believe because this album has so many classic Kiss tracks on it. And it really wasn't well received when it first came out. Um, it didn't really gain any... Um, momentum in, until they released the Alive album. And that's that's where I came in. Uh, I came into digging Kiss and knowing more about Kiss because I was a little older. Uh, I was a preteen and uh, Kiss Alive came out and I remember being blown away. And after that, for a very long time, everything was Kiss, 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 Kiss. You know, I dressed up like Peter Chris one year for uh, for Halloween. Another year I went out as Ace Fraley. Um, you know, so I have a lot of happy memories behind them. I remember the Halloween special when they put that out. But this album, if you don't know anything about it, this is just an awesome place to start. Um, side one starts off with the classic Kiss track, Strutter. I know a thing or two about her. Great song. Uh, nothing to lose. You got, got nothing to lose. And then... Firehouse, another great Stanley track, At the Firehouse. Uh, the Ace Freely tune. Now, Ace didn't sing this on the album, even though he wrote it. Uh, at that point, he really didn't have a lot of uh, confidence in his own voice. Uh, then when he put out the solo album, when they put out the four solo albums, and Ace basically had to do the singing himself, that's when he, he really believed that he could handle singing. And then from that point on, you know, he, he was singing Cole Gin. Uh, and that's the Freely track on here, Cole Gin. Side one closes out with Let Me Know, another Stanley track. And then on side two, we have Kissin' Time, all right, which is, uh, you know, it's a, you know, it's kind of a throwaway track. Then you have, you know, the, the great Gene Simmons song, Deuce, uh, the love theme from Kiss, um, which, you know, that's a, that's all by all four of them. It's an instrumental track. It's the first instrumental track that Kiss had, obviously, on the first album. Then you have 100,000 Years, which is a track by Stanley and Simmons, and it closes out with Black Diamond. And who can forget Black Diamond when you're listening to it for the first time and all of a sudden you hear it slowing down and slowing down like somebody turned the turntable off. Uh, so incredibly cool. Uh, you know, and up until they uh, called it quits, they played a lot of these tracks live for a lot of years. You know, Deuce and Strutter were, you know, were pretty much givens. Uh, nothing to lose, Firehouse, Cold Gin when Ace was with them, uh, you know, Black Diamond and 100,000 Years. Those songs were always in the rotation of classic Kiss songs for, uh, for, for years and years up until they uh, called it a day. Um, for me, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to get the first three Kiss albums when they came out, like I said, just before my time. But I did get this. This is the only other thing I'm going to show you this week because why not? Uh, this is where I became uh, familiar with Kiss. Uh, some people consider this kind of like a holy grail. Uh, you know, at the time it was pretty common. This copy is a bit beat up, uh, but it is not bad. And this has, this is called Kiss the Originals. And it was a re-release of their first three albums after they had put out uh, the Alive album. All of a sudden they were like the hottest band in the world, Kiss. Uh, and this has the albums Kiss, Hotter Than Hell, and Dress to Kill. And if you look close there, in the flames, you can make out the four faces of the band. 
Uh, and if you look closely, 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 it is basically those four faces right there. They, they blended that picture in to the uh, nuclear explosion. And those are the three albums with all the tracks. I'm not going to go through everything. I want to keep this week's episode short. Uh, just to look inside, I don't have all the little goodies that came in it. You know, it's a long time ago. But, you know, it's reminiscent of the album covers that were released. <clears throat> that, of course, is Hotter Than Hell. We're going backwards. Dressed to Kill with Gene in a borrowed suit. And the original originals. All right, the original of the originals with Kiss. So very cool. You know, I'm glad to have this one in my Kiss collection. I uh, have a lot of other Kiss stuff. Like I said, check out prior videos. Uh, like I said, there's one on Ace Freely. There's two that talk about Eric Carr, uh, showing off the stuff that was released from him from Record Store Day. But that is all I'm going to show you this week. I have other stuff that actually came in the mail, but not related to this. Just wanted to, you know, focus on this because it is the 50th anniversary of uh, Kiss, who, you know, really did a lot for the genre of hard rock and heavy metal. And you can hear the roots here. A lot of the stuff from Glam, you know, they, they borrowed a bit, you know, they, you know, they took a bit from the Stones, they took a bit from the Beatles, they took a bit from Zeppelin, they took a bit from, uh, from the New York Dolls, who were contemporaries of theirs, uh, and they formed Wicked Lester, and then they morphed into Kiss, um, and, uh, you know, after they hit that Alive album, man, they blew up, and they were, they were really the hottest band in the world for a long time, uh, and that's it. That's uh, this week's episode, and it is about Kiss, 50th anniversary gold edition thank you so much for uh, hanging out checking out this week's episode um uh, you know like i said before drop a comment click like share the video most importantly please subscribe uh obviously coming from a different point in my house this week uh you know right from the mailbox right to the countertop uh and uh thank you all so much uh have a great week. Stay cool. Peace. One love. Music. I'm out.